Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog on Mogscast, playing some more XCOM Enemy Unknown today. And uh, as as is with the last few days, this is post commentary, just so that everybody knows. As it will be the next, I think, 14 episodes up until at least episode 20. Um, so it looks like we've got a mission. Um, we are going to be going out to. I think we're going to do uh, Egypt, an abduction mission in Egypt this time. So taking a look at my squad, who I can switch in, I think we're going to pull up Alex Anders, one of our uh, our most veteran supports at this point, and um, definitely going to be using him because having having those medics around is a, is a huge help. And it looks like we've got Lee Sun here, who is just going to kind of be just a little backup support. It doesn't look like he's going to get a med. Well, actually, we're going to give him Mog's med kit. It seems we're going to give Mog his scope back as a sniper. I guess that makes a lot more sense. And uh, give Lee Sun here his extra med pack because <clears throat> he is pretty leveled up too. In fact, I think. Oh, he actually is more leveled than Alex Anders at this point. Um, he's just been, Alex Anders has been outfitted to look like our medics. I wanted to go all white for our medics. Um, I don't know if I did at this point, if I had thought about that, but I don't think we switch up Lee Sun for that. Um, taking a look around, Corporal Gu Lee is still over here. we got Mash Ke uh, Mush Keenan, we've got Mog Shepard, uh, and that's going to be our crew, I do believe. Looks like Keenan's going to get the Arc Thrower in case we need to capture any enemies, so that's going to be his job. Get up close with that heavy-ass machine gun and then shock the shit out of people. Yep, here we go. And flying on out, and this one was Drop in we're gonna say Egypt. So yeah, Egypt, we're going to drop in here, uh, begin the assault, and uh, kind of see what we're up against here. We're dropping like just, just inside the Egyptian border. Looks like just a, a local oh broadcast my God. indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. I should know these down by there now. And eliminate any hostiles. I really should. I should know when he talks because it's always the exact same moments. And I keep going, oh wait, I'll wait a sec, and then I talk, and he's boom right there. But yeah, a standard uh, sweep and kill looks like for this mission, which is going to be good. Uh, no special craziness like you'll see with panic missions or terror missions like. Uh, you have to save civilians, those kind of things. Thankfully, we're not having to deal with that. So jumping in, map we got. Oh. Okay, this is like. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. So this is like the uh, like the office park one, little plaza with a fountain, and then like a couple of office buildings that are all connected and whatnot. Have little workstations, lots and lots of cover uh, in this map. So dropping into Overwatch, Mush is gonna uh, Keenan Mush is gonna move on up here and probably drop into Overwatch. I do believe. Hunker down. Okay, fair enough. He's up front. Might as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like Lee Sun. We're moving up to the car here. Gonna toss into Overwatch. We're basically just spreading out our forces at this point. Just pull you up to the car. Where are we gonna put you? Over here behind the trash can. That's perfect cover. That's perfect. <laughs> Overwatch, and we're going to take Alex Anders and probably put him up here near one of the benches, I think, or maybe behind this trash can. And Overwatch. <laughs> well, let's see if we hear anything. It doesn't look like we got any indication where the enemy is going to be at this point. But we're going to keep moving in because most likely they're going to be straight ahead of us in that building. At least somewhere. Typically on this one, they're pretty centralized. You don't find them much out on the edges of the map. So Lee Sun, moving on up. We're going to take this nice and slow because that's how you save people. That's how you keep them alive. Lee Overwatch. Alex Anders, where are we going to put you? Maybe right up here. That That is just asking for a grenade. But thankfully, this point of the game, I don't think they're very prevalent. <laughs> moving up. Mog Shepard. Toss him into Overwatch, which of course means he does have Snapshot is this a perk I gave him instead of squad shot. Some people don't agree with that, and I am finding more use at this point for squad shot, but it doesn't seem to be quite as useful as it sounds all the time, unfortunately. I tend to get more use out of the move and shoot method. It's also, I think, um, more reaction based. So, like, if you walk into a room and you're like, oh crap, there is enemies here. And you can just, like, take a shot, or you can at least drop into Overwatch if you're in good cover. Um, you can, I mean, you can still run them back if you need, but I kind of like having that functionality of my sniper, just the quick shots with a sniper rifle. I mean, I know you can do it regardless if, uh, if you got squad shot with a pistol, but 
Snipe rifle man. Sniper. <coughs> okay. So we're just kind of moving up here. Looks like we've got our crew over to the right-hand side of the of the plaza here. We're going to probably start trying to breach into this door, into this building up directly ahead of us. Uh, or maybe going through the courtyard. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, depends on how this kind of plays out if we end up spotting enemies uh, sooner. Or mid-operation mid of moving into the building, we shall see. Hmm. I don't think we're alone out here. Yep, looks like we got some enemies up inside there, probably from the one across the plaza in the back end of the building from us at this point. So who are we going to move up? Mog Shepard. Guli, let's move you up to the door. And probably drop me an overwatch, I'd think. And Alex Anders, we're going to leave, but Mush Keenan's also going to jump up to the door, so it looks like the heavies are going to get ready to breach. Lee Sun, move you up here, and I don't know why I did that. I think I was planning on putting Mog there, but that's fine. <coughs> Alex Anders, let's move you over here. Toss you into Overwatch. Just keep an eye over the door while we're staying in cover. And then Mog Shepard, we're going to dash him anyway, I think, right behind this police car, maybe. Is that going to be the plan? I think it is. Oh, we're going to put you up by the door. Okay, fair enough. At least you'll have uh, be up close on the action. <laughs> Where do we get some noise from? Nowhere. Okay, so we're just going to move in. Looks like we're going to have Keenan open the door. Wait for the cone of vision. Anybody? Nope. Looks like um, we do hear somebody Quiet. back there, though. Do you hear something? And are they going to make a move? It's still our turn, but uh, it was strange enough to see them making noise. Looks like Mog maybe move up. Or are we going to put you in front of a window? We are. We're just going to toss you in front of a window and overwatch you. So if anybody does come out that back area, he'll have a shot at him at least. And Keenan, of course, don't take the door. You just jump through that window, make as much noise as humanly possible, and Lee Sun's going to run up and replace him on the door breach um, location. Alexander's going to move up behind in position here. Full cover for everybody except Mog. But that's okay. Not the end of the world. We'll figure it out. Here and it looks like Ghoulie just spotted the first of our sectors on this mission. Looks like two of them at this point, and they're going to run back behind cover in this area. Now, they're all in half cover. We have a few in half cover, but we're just going to overwatch, I think, since that was our last character to move. Their turn. Let's see what they do. It looks like they're doing a mind meld to buff up one of them, and he's probably going to run in through that building and... This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Well, we got a couple of floaters, looks like. And that's the first time we see them in this game. So we got a couple of, a couple of reaction shots here, which is good. We were in a decent position, but we didn't, uh, didn't get any shot or hits off. That is okay. Unless... Nope, Keenan didn't Damn either. It. That's fine. Whatever. It was a chance. But this sect was gonna move up, probably take an overwatch on us. Okay, fair enough. I'm okay with this. It looks like Mog can't get the shot. Maybe I would have a shot if uh, if I did have squad shot at this point. But, I mean, like I said, I've tried it on other ones, and I actually have it in the current game that I'm playing through on a harder difficulty. And uh, it's, it's okay. It seemed to work pretty good in open areas, but you still don't get shots if your vision is overly blocked or if you're too far away. I don't entirely understand um, how it works. I don't know if you have to just be like within a certain distance overall, regardless of cover, or if it's you have to have a clear eyesight, and then range doesn't matter. So if you guys know how squad shot works, let me know, because I would love to figure it out and utilize it better. So it looks like we're going to move uh, Lee Sun over to the edge here, and still in full cover, take a shot at that sectoid, I think. And it was a big miss, unfortunately. That is okay. Alex Anders, what are we going to do with you? Toss a smoke grenade in to cover our dudes up front. I think that is going to be the best plan here. So Alex, big on the support there, buddy. You're, you're, all, you're all over that. Raising that defense. Got what are we going to do? Suppress. I'm going to suppress that floater. Gun so if he, if he takes a negative 30 sh to aim to his aim percentage, but he also, uh, if he tries to move, uh, Keenan gets a free reaction shot on him. That's going to be a miss. Because, yeah, 
negative 30 aim, that's like, what, that lowers it, yeah, by 30%. And back to us, what are we gonna do here? Mog Shepard probably gonna move you up, I think. Move, move Lee Sun over, take a, take a shot? Are we gonna just overwatch? No, we're gonna take a shot. And hey, it paid off, two damage, something at least. And I think at this point we're gonna try and finish off the job with Gu Lee. And didn't, didn't hit him, but we did take out his cover at least. So Alex Andrews is probably going to move up, and I think going to be able to finish him off now without cover. Yep. Got the kill. Nice work. And at this point, we are going to move up Mog Shepard over here and probably take a shot. And it looks like we just triggered an overwatch. But it does hit us for two damage. Not terrible, but that is a good chunk of your damage at this point. And ooh, that one was almost thankfully. Those plasma rifles uh, will hurt a lot more than a standard one, like a, like a one of our guns or anything. So Mog is gonna have a 51% chance at hitting that sectoid, and is he gonna he is gonna get it? See you in hell. Okay, one down. Crater, Keenan Crater needs to reload. He can't do much unless he oh, fires yeah. a, a rocket. But no, we're just gonna reload him. <laughs> Well, I guess They're that's two down. Back. We killed the other one. So that's, that's, yeah, so two down. Floater's running back. Sectoid, what are you going to do? You're going to run back, too. Alright, that's, ooh, we got some thin men up there. So they're new to the party. Quiet. Did you hear something? Mog Shepard, what are we going to do with you, buddy? Overwatch. Keenan. Overwatch. Looks like we're gonna probably run up Lee Sun here. At least a little bit. And we need to reload with him as well. And we definitely need, re need to reload with Gu Lee. Locked and loaded. Okay, Alex, you need to move right where you're standing and just overwatch all us. That's fine. Keenan gets a reaction shot on the floater. I'll get him next time. And no dice. No dice on that one. Let's see, Mob, can you get this one? Take the shot. Boom. Big miss, unfortunately. Oh, the target. Come on, Mog, you need to be better than that. You've even got the scope. And Alex Andrews, you gonna pick up the scope here? You are not. You are just gonna miss as well. Thanks. Appreciates. But it looks like both these guys are moving back in at us, so um, we should have some decent shots at them pretty quick here. Mog Shepard taking the 91% I do believe. Finish him off, bust out the headshot, heck yeah. The definite kill. Kapow! And that one is down. Definitely down. Heavy hit. And let's see. Alexanders, can you move up? You don't got any targets right where you are now, so we are probably gonna move somebody up in a position to take, hit, uh, take shots at that guy. Put you out here. I think we're gonna move you up into the little crutch there. Maybe we're gonna take Gooly, maybe. Yeah. I've got a visual. Oh, there they are. Those thin men saw us this time. So they'll be engaging us shortly here. But first, they are run back. So we got five on screen, at least five in vision, two more set plates here. Okay. So yes, we are getting a good amount here. So Goo Lee gonna take a fifty eight percent? I think so. And it paid off. We got the kill there, so that's down to four. Down. Alex Andrews is going to move up a little bit further into the building to get into a better little support role here. Overwatch. And Mush Keenan does not have shots where he is, so we're going to Overwatch. And probably Overwatch Sun, too. <laughs> yep. So all three of these guys are on Overwatch duty to hopefully get those Thin Men if they try poking their heads out. And it'll be up to Ghoulie and Mog to finish off these last Sectoids. <laughs> is what I believe is going to happen anyway. And Alexander's apparently is going to go down. Negative damage. No damage though, so that was a miss. That's fine though. He wasn't in the best position to get those thin men anyway. But they are going to take a shot back at him. And bust his, rev or his, his reverse behind. His rear cover is the word I'm looking for. Keenan takes a shot at approaching Thinman and misses, unfortunately. But is 
Sergeant Sun, is he gonna get the shot here? He's gonna get, he's gonna get a miss. And that thin man is gonna move up into position and probably take a shot here. Oh, double move, that's fine. Kick on out, we will destroy him on this turn it looks like. And the other thin man is gonna move a little further in, and that's also gonna be a double move it looks like. So Mog, 65 on the thin man. Thin man, take that shot. I don't think we're gonna get it. That is gonna be a miss. No, oh, shot wide. Need a resupply. Oh, shot wide. Thanks, Mog. You suck at shooting. Seventy-six percent on this thin man. Thin man. Why do I always say thin? Man? Like it's a plural. It doesn't make any sense. Out of Seems rounds. to it rolls a little better, but that's fine. Um, we are gonna need to reload with Keenan over here, so I think that's Locked gonna be what we do. And same with Lee, uh, with uh, Lee over here. Reloaded. So Gooly, on the other hand, still doing pretty good. Can we get shots on this thin man? Forty-three percent, fifty. I think we're gonna take fifty or move up, maybe. Hmm. Are we gonna pull back? It might not be a bad idea to pull back. So we are going to head back behind the full cover of this door here and probably just overwatch. And Alex Andrews should really reposition as well. He's going to jump back behind here and have at least half cover. So if they try to come at us, we'll at least get a little more room and they may have to move to take shots. So say they're doing another mind meld, buffing up that front sectoid. He's going to move into position and take a shot. That was a rough one. <coughs> Excuse me. Drinking some coffee this morning. Like, I'm sure you guys are more than aware. Wow, that thin man could have killed us so easily right there. Alex Andrews is a lucky guy. Reload, Reload. for uh, for Mog Shepard, and Alex Andrews is going to need to figure out something to do here. So we need to move Keenan up somewhere where he can do some damage. I think we might even uh, benefit from a rocket use at this point, but... Uh, then again, like I said, I mean, these are all in post-commentary, so it's hard to be like, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So 16% on that Thin Man, seriously? 29 on the other one? That's crap. So suppress, I think we're gonna suppress the Thin Man. Suppressing fire on that seems like a decent plan. <laughs> Lowers his accuracy, keeps him in position. Let's see. So Lee's son... Are we gonna move you up or are we gonna pull Alex Anders? We're just gonna heal Alex Anders. So he'll be up a little bit higher at least. And at this point, let's move Lee Sun into position so at least he can get some firing done, I think. We've already used Mog. Goo Lee. What can we do with you? Possibly move you up behind this bench, maybe this flower bed. At least it'll be a little more distance between the two of those guys. And oh, we can fire our rocket. No, we can't fire a rocket after we've moved. That won't work. So 71%. We got this. Nice. <laughs> Destroyed. Start keeping score. And it looks like we need to move Lee Sun into position. He's gonna be our final move for the turn. It looks like. Can he take a shot? He can take a shot. It's 56. That's that's not bad. It is a miss, but uh, it was worth a chance, I think. <laughs> Their turn, what are they going to do? Another mine meld, and then he's probably going to move up, or at least move to cover, and then... Or he's just going to stand where he is. Let's go. They're really going after Alex on this one, unfortunately. We need to keep him alive, that's why we got him in the back, but... Um, we're going to take... Mog, get the shot off here, 71%, I think we're going to take that. Yeah, it looks like a kill, definitely. So as far as we know, we might have one more sectoid. There may be more than that, but it could be the end of the mission at this point. So we're going to take a little dashing run, get into position, I think. No, we're just going to move up a little bit. See if we can get a fire, fire a shot Rock off. And roll. Reload. Uh, pull up Lee Sun behind the cover over here, it looks like. And probably drop him into Overwatch. And Gu Lee, you need to reload soon as well. <laughs> What should we do in the meantime? Dash you somewhere? Into OK cover? Yeah. At least he'll be a little closer. He does have shots left, just not a whole lot. Alex Anders needs to reload, as well as stay alive. So you're going to move up here and stay behind pretty decent cover. 
Overwatch and alien turn. Yeah. They're gonna take a shot at you. Big miss on their part, and that's good. That's what we're after. We don't want to get hit too hard. We want to keep all our guys alive, and we can help it. So, Mush Keenan, can you go get in there and take it a flanking shot? Or can Mog take a shot? Nope. We can move him up and maybe take a shot, but no shot. So, Overwatch, I think. Or maybe we're just gonna. Yeah, just Overwatch. Mush Keenan, move on up. And can we get a shot here? We do have an angle on this guy. Not flanking, but it's. Something. No way that just happened. And we just did destroy his cover, so that's always good too. So pulling up Lee Sun to get a decent shot without cover. 56. Oh no no, he has cover from this angle. He definitely has cover Damn from it. here. Just half cover, but not bad. So Goo Lee, let's move you up to the trash can here a little bit closer, see if you can get a decent uh, attack on him. 52 again. We might be able to, with a frag grenade, good call, this will end the mission, if this is the last one of them. Frag out. And that is a guaranteed 3 damage. You want to instruct your men to exercise nice. restraint when using explode. Yes, of course, Dr. Valen, whatever you say. Don't you worry about it. And we do have panic in Argentina. So they were a little high on the panic scale, but hey, we had to choose somewhere. And we went with the one that gave us engineers. So I think we made a good choice. Didn't we? We went with the one that gave us engineers, right? Egypt? I guess we'll find out here in just a moment as we arrive back at base. And it looks like we got three promos. Sergeant uh, Maga upgraded to Lieutenant. Uh, we're going to give him Disabling Shot, I think. I, I kind of regret not going with Battle Scanners at this point, but I'm pretty sure we go with Disabling Shot. It comes in handy a few times, but I think Battle Scanners would be a little bit more useful. Oh well. But he is Lieutenant Mog Shepard now, and we got Ghoulie Lee being promoted to a Sergeant. Yep, he has earned the nickname Prototype. Shredder Rocket or Suppression. He's kind of been going the Suppression route, but um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to give him an additional rocket at this point. Because initially when I was playing this game, I didn't realize it was another rocket. I thought it just replaced your normal fire rocket. Um, but yeah, this actually gives you a second rocket to fire. And it looks like Alex Anders got his second promo up to Corporal, and we're going to give him Covering Fire instead of the Movement Bonus. Um, I've been playing a little more on my most recent... we got a Floater Autopsy we can do. Sweet. Some weapon fragments and a few other corpses. And we can now do the Laboratory. We can build that. It looks like we did get four four scientists. Panic in e Egypt decreased by two, but North America and South we America went up. We will be in touch, Commander. But yeah, in my most recent games, I've been giving my support characters the extra move distance, um, as well as, of course, the improved um, med packs and that whole thing, and dense smoke, and they just become, like, super awesome. And once you get that deep pockets perk, having a medic with a, with a med pack and a scope is awesome. They become, like, extremely accurate support characters with healing, and it's great. Heck, I'd use, like, multiple of those. I might even choose those guys over, like multiple heavies, or an assault in some cases. They're, they're surprisingly good. But it looks like we are going to change up Lee Sun here, give him a little bit different name, and surprise, surprise, buddy! There you go. This is uh, Jeremy Williams is going to be this guy's name. So, uh, congrats to you, my friend. And uh, he is going to be one of our newer support characters. He is up to Sergeant now. So, uh, I think we're going to give him the white... Um, layout as well on this, but we might just leave it for the time being. Who knows? But yeah, so he is going to be one of our new supports, supports joining the ranks uh, of some of my buddies in the game itself, XCOM here. And yeah, he is getting the white armor tent to signify to myself when I am not paying too much attention that he is in fact one of our medics. And it looks like Ghoulie, what are we going to do for you? And change up, I think this guy's name, we're going to go David buddy. One of my other friends, since nobody seems... well, what am I even saying? I haven't even uploaded any of these. If you guys would like a character in an XCOM game on my on my channel here, on my videos, feel free to drop a comment below um, and let me know the name that you'd like, maybe a color scheme that you'd like, unless I have other ideas in mind for a character. Um, like, if it's part of like a set, like, oh, well, I treat all my assaults and put them all in red. Um, but if you if I don't end up doing that, and you would like a certain color, a certain armor deco, certain helmet, uh, whatever you'd like, certain nickname and names, uh, drop it in the comments below, and I will see if I can get you one of those guys in game. But yeah, so we are given David Griffin, which trust me, buddy, I know 
I know, the last name isn't correct, but uh, that is on purpose. That is on purpose. So, no disrespect. But you are going to be Prototype, our new heavy, all in red, huge machine gun, and just kicking ass. And then for our third and final customization, we are taking Ali Sky, one of our new squaddies here, and we are going to customize him up, because we don't have very many assaults, um, and we need one, so we're going to start leveling this guy, I think. And uh, what are we going to settle on? Right here, I do believe, for his armor deco color, and that looks all pretty good. First name, who's it gonna be? Hmm, Stan. Stan Sky. So there you go. I don't even know if Stan is watching this show. And if you're not Stan, maybe you should. But you won't hear it here. You'll just hear it if you ever start watching. So take that for whatever you will take it as. Whatever. And we have a very small team of guys, but we do have a few guys out who are still wounded and for a while. One of those guys was like 15 days. It's like half half of the month. That could be multiple missions they won't be available for. But we got alien materials research completing. Let's set up our next material research, or our next research. And I think we're going to do experimental warfare. Maybe nav computer, but experimental warfare would be the better bet, Commander, I think. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every <sighs> alien we... Ah, shut up. Okay, so scanning ahead, we might get experimental warfare done here. We might even get our satellites finished, but I doubt it before we get another another interruption with a mission. Um, experimental warfare is finished, and we just did get Mog back to active duty at least, so let's assign new things. We got a Phoenix cannon we can make, we can do a foundry now that we can build. Um, the foundry is a good idea for me to build, probably rather sooner than later, but let's get this floater autopsy going. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine... Excuse me. I was like expecting that to keep going and not get cut off. Nice mid drink, Commander, but it looks like we've got ourselves a new abduction. For assistance. So there are um, abductions in progress at each marked site on the hollow globe. So yeah, with that, guys, we're gonna call it, and uh, we will come back to you next time. If you like what you saw, please do like. Drop any comments about the things you'd you'd like to see in the comment section below, and we will see you guys next time. Cheers.